Report into the collapse of a Laval, Quebec overpass is coming out publicly today. Five people died when that span collapsed more than a year ago, more than a year ago rather, and six others were injured. The CBC's Amanda Pfeffer is in Montreal with more this morning. Amanda. Heather, uh, this morning taxpayers are going to find out what a $6 million report is going to get them. Quebecers all along have been looking for peace of mind, uh, but I think that rather than peace of mind, uh, they've been uh, getting a strong dose, a real reality check about the state of Quebec's uh, transportation system, uh, particularly the roads and uh, bridges network throughout Quebec. Now, the uh, head of this commission, Pierre-Marc Johnson, the former premier, has been uh, leading these hearings with uh, two uh, engineers by his side and well the story that has been um, uh, coming forward is a real problem with the building of this particular bridge uh, that the design was not executed by the contractors properly that the inspection system uh, was not very good and that there was a uh, real problem in those days of the use of substandard concrete but over what happened after that in the years after that it seems that the finger of blame uh, is uh, going toward transport quebec a real problem with the inspection system of uh, structures uh, across uh, the quebec network well if it outlines the problems if you've just done amanda what then is going to be the impact of the uh, the results of this report well, you know, the, the hearings began in March, but way before they were over, uh, the Quebec government was uh, having to undertake inspections because of the expert testimony of 300 structures across Quebec. Half of them needed further uh, inspections, and about a quarter of those need repairs and, and had to be shut down altogether. Uh, some of them, including some of the major arteries throughout the Montreal area, the legacy of that will go on. Tomorrow, the transport minister is expected to make an announcement that things will change A transport Quebec, particularly the inspection uh, process, that there might be an oversight agency. And last week, in an effort to preempt all of the criticism, Jean Charest introduced a $30 billion package for infrastructure spending. The vast majority of it will be going to Transport Quebec for road repair and structures. And uh, there will be a new law that will make it illegal for future governments to allow the infrastructure system in Quebec to fall into disrepair as it has uh, up to today. Amanda, thanks.